Welcome to New York's number two sports show. The Rangers defeat the Capitals 2-1 to one to end their four-game losing streak. I wouldn't say this game was pretty, but they got it done. And they score an early goal. They score an, a later first-period goal. And they end up hanging on for the 2-1 win. And Capo Caco returned today. And that was a welcome sight. And he looked a lot better today than he had before he got hurt. So... He was on the line with Kreider and Zibanejad again. I still would prefer to have those two split up. I didn't think that, you know, and maybe Meek is just trying to work his way back from the illness, but he has not been overly impressive lately at all. But I thought Kaka looked pretty good. But it, again, it was the line of uh, Panera and Trocek Lafreniere that is the reason for the offense that they get because you're really not going to get a whole lot in that bottom six the way it is now. Igor was good. Really good. And, you know, made 24 saves, made some really key saves. Charlie Lindgren ended up going back-to-back games. So I thought that they would go to, to Kemper. But Lindgren, who has done well against the Rangers this year, um, they figured, why not? Let's go again. And he really was very good for Washington. But, yeah, Rangers played well. Power play 0 for 5. So the power play has struggled lately. I'm not concerned about that in the long run, but it sucks. Like I kind of wish Lafreniere would get a little bit of a chance on the first power play unit. Like I know that's not going to happen unless there's injury, but uh, you know, it would have been nice, but he was great. I mean, I think he might've drawn three penalties, had a really good, like extra effort goal. So um, yeah, you know, it, it, they had to win this one. And so now they start off what is the second half of their schedule, right? This was game 42. So, and, and they get the win. So the 27, 13 and two, will this, you know, lead them into a stretch of wins? Maybe there's really no way to know that, but, um, you know, glad that Kako's back in there considering your other options. So Anton bleed, who was in the lineup yesterday was sent down as was Jake decision before him. So, I guess the question is when Tyler Pitlick comes back, which probably isn't too far down the road, um, who will be the one to come out of the lineup? And, you know, who knows, right? There's a number of candidates. It could theoretically be Pitlick himself, although I don't, I, I wouldn't agree with that. You know, Johnny Bradzinski, you know, could hit, could he be sent down? Sure. You know, I think Nick Benino is, is worthy of being a healthy scratch, but you know, that remains to be seen. You know, that, that's the biggest problem right now is Benino, whoever you want to consider beating that third line center, if you want to consider it Benino, if you want to consider it Goodrow, whatever it is, you know, no Philip Heedle is very, very key. You know, that's a big loss. But Kako coming back, that's a good thing. Again, like, I, he's not the savior by any means, but it's a noticeable difference where right wing, you know, specifically is, Pretty weak on this team. But yeah, good goalie matchup between Lindgren and Shesterkin. Early on, it looked like maybe we'll have a scoring game. Rangers get off to a very, very quick start. And look, even with even in the games that they've lost, they've scored the first goal. And it happens here 50 seconds in. Panarin scores his 27th goal of the season from Trocek and Truba. So Panarin, just crazy the goal scoring. And he has a great shot. And it's too bad that in the past he hasn't always taken advantage of that, but he is this season. And a really, you know, good pass by Trocek, Odd Man Rush. They're good. That line is good when it comes to Odd Man Rushes. Whereas like the Zibanejad line, to me, it's just not as in sync. But Panarin scores, makes it one nothing Rangers right there. What's kind of interesting. So the Rangers actually scored 50 seconds into the period, and they scored 50 seconds left in the period. But in between that, there were some penalties. Uh, Chris Kreider high sticking at 7:38. So a couple of games with some not so great penalties by Kreider, uh, but the Ranger penalty kill kills it off. Then Ferravari high six Lafreniere at 14:48. Rangers power play doesn't score, but then 50 seconds left in the period, Lafreniere scores his 11th goal of the season from Braden Schneider. So Schneider does a nice job at the point of finding Lafreniere, who's kind of all alone in front. Linger makes the initial save, then Lafreniere sticks with it and gets it past him to give the Rangers a 2-0 lead. Then Blake Wheeler's call for high sticking Anthony Mantha with 12 seconds left in the first. Rangers would kill it off. We go to the second. The second was definitely a better period for the Capitals. 
Um, and at 11.03, they score. It's TJ Oshie scoring his fourth goal of the season from Dylan Strom and Pat Charetti. So this is a play, a really bad play by Eric Gustafson, the former capital. Tries to flip it out, turns it over, and it ends up in the back of the uh, Rangers net. Gustafson has not been good for a while, where he was really excellent early in the season. Uh, he's really, really taken a pretty big step back lately. So that makes it 2-1. Then at 1331, Ferravari interferes at Lafreniere. And then even at, and then there uh, on that power play, Nick Dowd is called for roughing Adam Fox. So the Rangers have a five on three, they don't score on it. Um, you know, yeah, I feel I don't like the Zabanajad one time where it's just does it work every now and then? Yeah, but it's predictable. And he's just winding up. I mean, and just there's such a heavy wind up that like, I don't know. I feel like less is more a little bit there. But Rangers don't score there. And that could have come back to bite them. And they even had more chances. We'll go to the third period with Rangers up 2-1, which is which was the exact same score yesterday. But the Rangers were able to hold on this time. Lafreniere is high stick by Edmondson at 133. Rangers don't score. Then John Carlson trips Lafreniere at 1142. Rangers don't score. Um, and then at 1452, matching minors to Schneider and Oshie. So that leads to four on four, but nothing comes of it. And look, the Capitals had some chances late. Igor made some saves, but they hold on to get the win. So they split the season series. They split the home and home with Washington. The home games... Uh, the home teams won each of these games. And so you move on. And now the Rangers will face the Seattle Kraken. And Seattle will be playing tomorrow afternoon at Pittsburgh. So it'll be a back-to-back back, -to -back, uh, back, -to -back set for them. So the Rangers should be a little more rested. This, the Kraken, I think, have been playing better. The Rangers went to Seattle and beat them earlier in the season. But I believe Seattle has been playing better of late. Oh, well, sorry. I shouldn't even question that. They're on a nine-game winning streak currently. So, yeah, they are playing very well. So we'll see if that streak continues when they play Pittsburgh tomorrow. But, yeah, this is a team that, you know, made the playoffs last year, even won a round. So Seattle is finding their game. So this won't be easy. And the Rangers go out west. So this is the Rangers' last home game for a bit. And so hopefully that they can kind of leave home on a good note. Because, look, you know, for the Rangers, you want to start stringing some wins together. And there have not been many, you know, what feels like not too many uh, streaks of wins kind of alternating here and there. Um, but it's good that the Rangers four game losing streak is over. It was a game that, you know, it, it wasn't a must win. Uh, obviously, it wasn't a must win, but it, it was big to win. You, you, you definitely want to lose this one. And hopefully, um, you know, Rangers, it, this was... Their, their defensive game was better here, although I really feel like they were ready to kind of blow it at any point. But uh, let's see how they do against the Kraken Tuesday at MSG. But the Rangers are able to bounce back and respond after yesterday's matinee loss to the Capitals. They beat Washington in this one by a score of 2-1. to one.